You know that, right? Like, Indian movie doesn't make me fucking Indian, you know what I mean? And I'll tell you why I don't like Indian movies. I have a reason. I like movies that are based on reality, that seem like they can happen, you know what I mean? When I walk out of the theater, I want to be able to look at my friend and go, shit, that's crazy, that could probably happen. What if you ever walked out of an Indian movie going, that's possible? <laughs> at which point tonight do you think you're all going to get up, start singing the same song and dancing at the same fucking time? <laughs> it's not going to happen. And I don't like bad acting. Indian movies are full of bad acting. They overact in every scene, no matter, even if they send a room, hello! <laughs> That's not real life. Somebody entered your house and hello! He went, get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> bad overacting. White dudes, have you seen an Indian movie before? Have you? I'm sorry about that, man. <laughs> Jackson, if you've never seen an Indian movie in your life, I'm here to save you 12 hours. <laughs> Because the movies are sinfully long, right? <laughs> Clearly there's no fucking editing process in an Indian movie. Sometimes you might even see the boom mic just drop into the scene, you know what I mean? <laughs> They're long, like stupid long. I remember flying to India in 1998. I made the mistake of flying with Air India. You know it's a shit airline when Indian people go, oh, no, no. <laughs> even we don't do that. We will take a boat quicker than you take it. <laughs> Air India is a horrible airline. I remember I flew from Toronto to, to India, to Bombay, and it was like a 25-hour flight. We arrive in Bombay after 25 hours, and we're circling the airport now for another three hours. It's like 28 hours now on the plane. I grab a flight, and I'm like, what the fuck is the problem? Why aren't we landing? He goes, oh, sir, the movie has not finished yet. <laughs> Just two more hours. <laughs> he started it before we left. This is the long version. <laughs> Stupid long, man. Jackson, if you've never seen an Indian movie, I'm gonna break it down for you right now, man. This is the story that any every Indian movie ever made. All right, this is the, this is the storyline. Boy meets girl. Girl meets boy. They fall in love, they can't be together. The boy was a dishwasher. God forbid we're pretentious. So the girl's parents forbid her from ever seeing the boy. So the girl, very upset, runs away from home. Usually through an open field. Not just an open field though, the most beautiful open field you've ever seen in your life. It's got sprawling green grass for miles. Nothing in sight, clear blue sky, bright sunshine. Just a wide open field and she's running through that field in slow motion crying. And her boobs are bouncing in slow motion. Doom, doom. Doom, doom. Doom, doom. And she's running and crying and the sky is blue and the sun is shining and all of a sudden it starts to rain. There's no clouds in the sky. It's just raining. And it doesn't start to drizzle. It starts to piss down like it's never rained before. And she doesn't react like a normal person. What do you do when it rains? Oh, fuck, it's raining. What does she do? She starts singing and dancing in the rain. And all of a sudden, in the middle of singing and dancing and wide open field and clear blue sky and no clouds, the boy she's in love with appears out of nowhere. And at some point when he got there, he planted a tree. Because there was no tree there before. And, he's, and their eyes meet across the field and he's staying in that really fucking cool Indian actor pose. <laughs> and their eyes meet and her face lights up. And they run towards each other in slow motion. And his boobs start bouncing. <laughs> and his 80s hairstyle. <laughs> and they're running towards each other. And they're running. And they're running. And they run past each other. Because instead of hugging the man she loves, she thinks it'll be more fun to have a game of fucking hide-and-go-seek around this tree right now. She runs straight for the tree and starts... And the guy, instead of acting 
looking like a normal guy and going, you know what, when you're done, I'm going to be right here. He thinks it'd be really cool, too. He's like, and then after about half an hour of playing fucking chase around this tree, he catches her. And they embrace, and she gives him that really goofy giggle. <laughs> and he holds her close in his arms, and he looks deep into her eyes. This is where one of two scenarios can happen. One is, he's holding her close, he's looking her deep in the eyes. He could get shot from behind. <laughs> because nothing says I love you like a bullet in the ass. But it's okay if he gets shot. He's not going to die right away. We're Indians, you can't kill us that easy. <laughs> He's still got another six hours left in this movie. He's going to die and overact his way across India. And the whole way, uh, uh, busted! Uh, uh, be, be. That's one scenario. The more likely scenario, they're in each other's arms. He holds her close. He looks deep into her eyes. And he says the magic words. Oh, baby. I love you. And he leans in. And she leans in. And they get closer. And closer. And then... She starts singing and runs away again. I grab her by her. Bitch, get back here. We're not done yet. I planted a fucking tree for you. You guys have been a lot of fun. Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs>